The brain is then divided into three parts. Mid brain, pons, medulla oblongata. This is the anterior view of the brain stem, and this one is the posterior view. Start to explain the anterior view. Those parts of the midbrain, this is the cerebral acuity, cerebral peduncle, or cerebral crust, these two. Between them, this area is the posterior perforated area, or the interpeduncular fossa. This is the third cranial nerve oculomotor nerve the pons anteriorly here this nerve is the fifth cranial nerve trigeminal nerve which having two roots the larger one is the sensory one and the smaller one is the motor one so this is the sensory root of the trigeminal nerve and the motor root of the trigeminal nerve anteriorly between the pons and the medulla oblongata here is the abducent nerve which is the sixth cranial nerve this is the abducent nerve. At the angle between the pons and the medulla oblongata, here are two nerves the uh, facial nerve and the vestibulocochlear nerve. Here, the facial nerve, and this one is the vestibular part of the vestibulocochlear, and this is the cochlear part of the vestibulocochlear nerve. The medulla oblongata in the middle here is the uh, ventral uh, median sulcus or the anterior. Longitudinal sulcus here. Those the pyramids of the medulla oblongata, and here the site for the decussation of the medulla or decussation of the pyramid. This is the hypoglossal nerve, the olive, and this one is the hypoglossal. Here the ventral root, uh, rootlet of the C1 spinal nerve, this one goes more posteriorly on the above uh, above uh, the brain stem here is the diencephalon parts the pineal gland and the thalamus this is the pineal gland the thalamus appear here the part is here the hepinule or hepinular trigon this one is the polyphenar of the thalamus which is cut here the polyphenar of the thalamus medial geniculate body and the lateral geniculate body. The, this is the part of the diencephalon. This is the choroid plexus of the third uh, ventricle, the penile gland, the posterior commissure here, opening of the cerebral aqueduct. We start with the first part of the brain stem, which is the midbrain here. Posteriorly is called the taxon of the brain stem. The taxon carry uh, or carrying four uh, four similar bodies called corpora quadrigemina, which is two superior colliculi and two inferior colliculi. This is the superior colliculus and this is the inferior colliculus. Here the brachium of the superior colliculus and here the uh, the brachium of the inferior colliculus. This nerve is the fourth cranial nerve, which is the trochlear nerve. Now starting with the second part of the brain stem points posteriorly. Here in the middle, the frenulum of the superior medullary velum. This one is the superior medullary velum. Three cerebellar peduncle connect uh, the brain stem to cerebellum. The superior cerebellar peduncle, the inferior cerebellar peduncle, and the larger one is the middle cerebellar peduncle. Here is the fossa for the fourth ventricle, which is called the rhomboid fossa. Above here is the superior fovea, and below is the inferior fovea. These two is the median eminence. In the center here is the dorsal median sulcus. This one is the dorsal median sulcus or posterior median sulcus. Median eminence. Here is the locus cerulus here and here, facial colliculus, and this one is the vestibular area. Here is the sulcus which is called the sulcus limitans. Here the sulcus limitans. This area is the medullaris citrae, medullary citrae or citrae medullaris. 
hypoglossal trigon, vagal trigon. And this one is the tinea of the fourth ventricle, which is cut here. In the angle here is the lateral recess of the fourth ventricle. Goes more inferiorly here, the part of the medulla oblongata posteriorly. In the center, the dorsal median sulcus or posterior median sulcus. Those two sulcus sulci is the uh, posterior intermediate sulci, sulci here and here, and this one is a posterior lateral sulcus. Posterior lateral sulcus. Tubercles we having the gracile tubercle, cuneate tubercle, and trigeminal tubercle. Here one, and this is the second one. The continuation of the gracile tubercle is the, called the fasciculus gracilis, here, the fasciculus gracilis. And this one, the continuation of the uh, cuneate tubercle is the gracilis cunitus, here and here. And the continuation of the trigeminal tubercle is called the lateral fasciculus, here and here. Cranial nerve that appear on the posterior part of the medulla oblongata, this is the glossopharyngeal nerve. Two things is the vagal, vagus nerve. And this one is the dorsal rootlet of the C1 spinal nerve, and this the ventral rootlet of the C1 spinal nerve. This one is the 11th cranial nerve, which is the accessory spinal nerve, here and here.